so I'm not used to having nails and my natural nails like just suck like they're just sad like sad so I'm not used to having them but I like having them but I haven't had them in a long time like pretty much since I moved to Arizona which is a long time you know about two years so I'm having problems with like the simplest stuff take for example this diet soda I get it, I probably shouldn't drink diet soda but I guess it's better in my opinion than regular soda don't give me the sugar crap I'm fine with it I'm not giving up caffeine not yet anyway but here's a problem I'm used to opening them without nails so it's like that took way longer than it did before and uh, actually it went pretty well sorry about the swearing I'll kind of I don't know but that took about half the time it took yesterday yesterday I finally just handed it to Jared I'm like open it and he of course just laughed at me yeah so I am having the weirdest problems I guess this is not the as it goes it's not that big of a deal I drink maybe one to two of these a day but uh it's annoying <gasps> yeah. however i do have some good news i didn't weigh in last week because it was my wedding and i just wasn't gonna add that stress to it uh i haven't been on the scale so i don't know what i'm at i don't actually care actually at this point um i'll weigh in this weekend we'll see what it is but um i have some good news well good for me I had to order some new clothes and I ordered some new clothes from Torrid and I got some new jeans so I like them I had to get a lot of new clothes actually because like I have nothing that fits me but anyway what's the good news they're a size 18 and you'll notice when I stood up I had to pull them up now I'm not fooling myself I'm willing to bet I'm not an 18 in every brand but uh, these are pretty comfortable I am pretty darn happy about this so yeah <laughs> good news all around ah <laughs> so not only am I on vacation I'm having a pretty good week I'm having some weird trouble with weird things but like opening sodas and I can't open plastic packages because these aren't actually as they're like strong but I'm always afraid I'm gonna break them so like I can't like I don't know I don't feel like my fingers are as strong it'll I'll get used to them it'll take me a while but I'll get used to them until then it'll just be some random why can't I do this for everything um, and then I'll be fine and then I will just enjoy the fact that I actually have nails because even though it makes my life difficult I like having nails I just I'm not used to it I think they're pretty they make me feel girly so I got nothing but uh yeah so I'm trying out some stuff today and uh, I have I got an immersion blender for myself well Jer got it for me for Christmas and I haven't used it yet I just haven't had a chance to use it but it all I don't have a food processor so uh, last time we made the uh, pizza rounds that uh, ride to health put on their Super Bowl Sunday vlog I uh, I put weird toppings on it I thought the crust was pretty good I didn't think it was a 100 match for regular pizza crust but I thought it was a good match so um, today I'm gonna try it with fajita toppings we're gonna I'm gonna like uh, brown some uh, ground turkey and then I'm gonna add some like uh, sweet peppers and some garlic and some onions and uh, some fajita seasoning and whatnot and I'm going to try that on top of the um, pizza crust instead of the uh, tortillas because I don't like uh, I like a little bit of cheese with my fajitas I'm just kind of that person I guess and I figure it might be kind of a different thing to try and if not hey I like the crust as it is and if not I figure if I don't actually like it as pizza I can always just later use them as breadsticks because I think they'd be pretty darn good breadsticks but anyway I haven't used my immersion blender last time we just shredded it on the grater so my immersion blender came with this kit and it part of it came with a like a little uh a processor part and so I'm like oh this will be great I couldn't get the top off 
So I, it also came with a pitcher and it has like, you know, the long stem that you usually use like for uh, more of like a liquid consistency. It's a pitcher. It's made for like drinks and like smoothies and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, yeah. And, but I couldn't get the top off. Like I read the, I even read the instruction manual trying to figure out how the top off, but I mean, they just show the top coming right off. So I'm sitting in the chair watching chop and I'm like, okay, I'm just going to muscle this thing. So I like grab the top and I am just pulling for all I'm worth. And it finally pops off. The blade goes flying. I mean, I'm lucky I probably didn't take my own eye out and stuff, but I got it open and uh, it worked significantly better than just the straight immersion blender and my magic bullet didn't work at all. There just, there needs to be some sort of liquid or something for the magic bullet to work properly. But I mean, by the time I got done, I had cauliflower everywhere. I mean, my kitchen looked like a cauliflower had exploded. I mean, it started, I guess, so to get the core out of my cauliflower, this is a trick I learned when I worked in a restaurant when I was 16 or whatever. So you take the cauliflower and you smash it on the counter and then the core pulls right out. And it works fantastically, but I don't know what happened because the cauliflower didn't just pop right out. No, it exploded. Like I had cauliflower in both my sinks, on the floor, in my dining room. It was just like, didn't know I had that strength. Fortunately, my counters are fine. <laughs> I had to sweep, but I guess whatever. So after everything, I have cauliflower in my fridge now for cut up for snacks, and I have it riced for uh, the beans and crust that I'm going to do later. And I've got my sweet peppers cut up, and uh, no one was injured in the use of this immersion blender. Yeah. So... <laughs> Today has been interesting, I gotta tell ya. But uh, I'm really happy about the new clothes. I needed some new stuff to go on. Well, I wanted some new stuff to go on my trip with because I realized when my, when, you know when you have that moment where you realize your pants don't fit, like your favorite pair of pants, they're kind of starting to fall down, but they're loose everywhere. And like, I don't really wanna be zip lining or you know, doing a trail and having my pants around my ankles wasn't really my thing. So it was very sad to see those pants go. They were my favorite pants. But I have a new pair. I have a new favorite pair. Yeah, I'm wearing them. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm happy. I haven't been in an 18 in a while, so I'm just, I'm happy. Yeah. So, adventures in cauliflower and uh, immersion blenders and, uh, yeah. So, Today has been interesting, gotta tell ya. But yeah, so that's my update for the day. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you are having a fantastic day.